Hey everyone, this is Dr. Zach Wheat here, Performance Sport and Spine. In today's video, we'll be discussing core activation of different exercises and we'll breaking down which exercises have the best activation of the different muscles. So if you ask 10 different healthcare practitioners about what your core is, you may get 10 different answers. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna focus on three muscles. The rectus abdominis, your six pack muscle, the external obliques, and the internal obliques, which are along your side underneath your ribs. So we're going to break these exercises down into three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And this subgroup should help you be able to plan and implement them at the correct time in your rehab or performance program. So the first exercise is the squat. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and squat down to tolerance. Stand back up. This exercise uses 5% of your rectus abdominis and 10% of your external obliques. We categorize this as a level one or beginner exercise. The glute bridge. Lay on your back on the floor, bend your legs with your feet flat on the floor. Drive your hips up towards the ceiling with your glutes. Nice and control, return to the starting position. This exercise uses 6% of your rectus abdominis, 12% of your external obliques, and 8% of your internal obliques, making this a level one or beginner exercise. The curl up. Lay on your back with your knees bent and your hands straight against your side. Using your core muscles, lift your torso off the ground as we demonstrate here. Make sure you feel tension in your core, not your neck. This exercise utilizes 37% of your rectus abdominis, classifying it as a level two or intermediate core exercise. Double leg raise. Lay on the ground on your back with your knees fully straight or extended and your arms to your side with your elbows straight. Lift your legs off the ground, slow and controlled, and return to the starting position. This exercise utilizes 43% of your rectus abdominis, therefore classified as a level two or moderate core exercise. The push-ups, with your hand about shoulder width apart and on your toes, fully straighten your arms or extend your elbows, pressing your body away from the floor. Return to the starting position. This exercise uses 25% of your rectus abdominis, 21% of your internal obliques, and 23% of your external obliques. Therefore, we classify it as a level two or moderate core exercise. The plank. With your forearms on the ground and your weight on your toes, lift your knees up into a plank position. Hold the tolerance. This exercise uses 27% of your rectus abdominis, 30% of your internal obliques, and 45% of your internal obliques. Therefore, we classify this as a level three or advanced core exercise. The side plank. Laying on your side with your down elbow underneath your shoulder and your form along the floor. Press your torso up so it's in line with your legs with your ankles stacked on each other. Hold a tolerance. This exercise utilizes 24% of your rectus abdominis, 43% of your internal obliques, and 46% of your external obliques. Therefore, we classify this as an advanced exercise or level three. So push up with clapping. In a push up position, you're gonna explosively press yourself off the floor clap while you're in the midair, and then catch yourself with your hands as we demonstrate here. This exercise utilizes 57% of your rectus abdominis, 56% of your internal obliques, and 56% of your external obliques. Therefore, it classifies a level three or advanced core exercise. And for those that are curious about how this information was found, it was done by EMG studies. So they put little electrodes on the skin, and as the muscle contracts, it produces an electric signal, and these devices measure that. And the larger the signal, therefore the larger the contraction. Now they're not perfect, but it does give us some data to help elaborate on rehab programs and performance programs. Thank you so much for watching our video on core activation. We really hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out our other videos.